Yeah, well, you guys enjoy that. Enjoy that amazing food. We're here at the Cleveland Botanical Gardens, and we've been talking about all the, the great gardens, uh, about 11 acres you can explore outside, but we're bringing the outside inside with the help of a very amazing artist, Joe Dill, and these are his pieces. And Joe, you didn't use ink, you used bamboo. Yeah, yeah, that is how I paint with some uh, unconventional materials. Okay, well, let's talk about the journey you're taking us on. So what are we seeing here? So this whole collection is all about um, the cyclical um, nature of land use. Gotcha. And how nature and architecture can sometimes be in conflict, but also how those two things can come together and be in harmony. No, I see the conflict here because we have the natural material, the bamboo, but then we have the other hard man-made material. Yeah, right yes. Next to it, right? Yeah, so that's a lot of what I do. I try to mix in what um, might seem like an unnatural um, material with the bamboo to kind of force that that contrast. And looking at the bamboo, it, you can literally see brush strokes, you know, um, indirectly, the way you've used the bamboo to create texture, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm a big on texture, so. Um, and with these reeds, what's really cool about them is when you change the direction of them on the canvas, mm -hmm. you can really f create dimension on the flat surface. The way they catch the light um, is, is just really interesting to me and something I love to play with. And you have to cut all of these individually and then hot glue them. And so this is not something you can just buy panels of, right? It is not, no. This is all comes from um, beaded curtains that you might like hang in a doorway. Mm -hmm. And each one is hand cut, hand placed. So, um, it's, it's really how I zen out and, you know, just focus in on these. But each one takes about two weeks or so with the process. To and that's it. still impressive. It just takes two weeks. Now, the one, Lamont, if you can back up a little bit, the one Lamont is focusing on, the big one over here, Lamont, right here. Um, this was inspired by a fountain or a... Yeah, so um, one of my favorite places uh, is the Bethesda Fountain in Central Park mm -hmm. in New York. Um, so this one is really an abstraction of that silhouette. So you can kind of see the angel wings on the body with the head. Um, Up top, yeah, yeah the triangle, yeah. the head, and then the mm -hmm. angel wings here, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I take inspiration from a lot of places and invite those into the pieces. Some people might not be able to see those. They might take but their own But once you said away. that to me, now I see the angel. Yeah, now it's kind yeah, of yeah. all you can see, yeah. right? But uh, yeah, I, I try to, you know, abstract them in a way so everyone can take away something different. And this is your first solo show. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, when people see your work, what do you want them to take away from your work when they take it home and start describing your your work here, uh, to their friends? You know, my hope is always that people can look at these um, and uh, kind of take away the idea that, uh, you know, again, going back to that push and pull between nature and, you know, man-made materials, um, that they might be able to see that things that might seem in conflict can yeah. live in harmony. I like that. Um, so that's really what I hope people take away. Well done. Joe Dill, your first solo show. Congratulations. Yeah, thank yeah you, you have several shows across the city, but this is your first solo, so we encourage you guys to come on out and support them. And your work will be here until? August 7th, so August about a month. Yep. Congratulations. Joe yeah. Dill, ladies and gentlemen, looking forward to seeing a lot of great work from you. This Thanks. is cool stuff. And once you, once you start looking, you can't stop. It's pretty mesmerizing. It's fascinating. It's it really is, right. Kenny. It is. It really is, yeah. isn't it? It's awesome, you guys. Very cool. Thanks, man.